Convergent Technologies was an American computer company formed by a small group of people who left Intel Corporation and Xerox PARC in 1979. Among the founders were CEO Alan Mickles, VP Engineering Bob Garrow, Head of Marketing Cal Hubler, and Operating System Architect Ben Wegbreet. The company was purchased by Unisys in 1988. Topic: History. In 1982, Convergent formed a new division to focus on a multi-processor computer known as the Megaframe. The Megaframe ran a Unix system III-derived operating system called CTIX on multiple Motorola 68010 processors. Three other I.O. processor boards could also be placed in the system, the file processor, the cluster processor, and the terminal processor. All I.O. processor boards were based on the Intel 80186 and ran a scaled-down version of CTOS. The Megaframe division was headed by Ben Wegbreet. Steve Blank, in charge of division marketing, went on to found several Silicon Valley startups, including Epiphany, and as of 2012 lectures on technology startups at Stanford University and elsewhere, John Huey in charge of software, Richard Lowenthal in charge of hardware. Mickels and three other executives of the company left in 1985 to form the Dana Group. Shortly after, Convergent purchased 40% of Baron Data Systems for $14.6 million. Convergent reached an agreement to acquire 3Com in March 1986, but the merger was called off at the last moment. Unisys bought Convergent Technologies in 1988, after which Convergent Technologies became Unisys Network Systems Division. Topic products Convergent Technologies' first product was the Integrated Workstation IWS tower based on the Intel 8086 microprocessor chip. The next product was a cost-reduced desktop version, called the Advanced Workstation AWS. Both of these workstations ran in an minus 422 rupees clustered environment under a proprietary operating system known as Convergent Technologies Operating System CTOS. Convergent later used the Motorola 68010 in their miniframe, and later Motorola 68020 and 68040 processors in their VME-based MightyFrame systems, all also running CTI. X, the AWS Advanced Workstation, based on the Intel 8086, was eventually replaced by the NGEN New or Next Generation Workstation, based on the Intel 80186 microprocessor. To Burroughs users the NGEN was known as the B25 and to Prime Computer users it was known as the Prime Producer 100 a word processing workstation and also as the Prime Producer 200. The NGEN model was also sold with an MS-DOS version running on top of CTOS. It was sold by McDonnell Douglas Computer Systems Company previously known as Microdata Corporation who included a copy of their PIC-based reality database system which ran on MS-DOS. Later models kept pace with Intel CPU development through at least the Intel 80386 era. A successor to the NGEN called the Supergen and based on the Intel 80486 was finally introduced in 1993 by Unisys, approximately five years after it had acquired Convergent Technologies. Convergent also developed the first Motorola 68010 OEM Unix product for AT&T, the AT&T 7300, and integrated a number of features stream-based I.O., multinational language support to the Intel AT&T Unix base SVR 3.2. Convergent Technologies systems were also resold by Motorola under the Motorola 4-phase brand. 
Motorola, four-phase pioneered development of international character support for Unix platforms for their EMEA business using the CTOS, CTIX equipment. A very early tablet-style personal computer system, the Workslate, was designed and marketed by Convergent Technologies. Its primary user interface was a spreadsheet. The tablet utilized a mini cassette for voice and data recording and for loading a range of pre-packaged add-on applications to handle tasks such as the management of personal expenses, calendars, etc. At that time there was no facility to download such apps over the internet, so they were available only on the mini cassettes. 